Forget fancy skates. Early fins slipped across ice on animal bones tied to their feet. Forget fancy skates. Early fins slipped across ice on animal bones tied to their feet. Forget fancy skates. Early fins slipped across ice on animal bones tied to their feet. Here's how it worked. They'd take flat animal bones, usually from horses, and strap them to their feet with leather or string. But wait, bone skates didn't have sharp edges for grip. So to move forward, they grabbed a sturdy stick and pushed against the ice, just like cross-country skiers do today. It wasn't about speed. They topped out around eight kilometers per hour, but it saved tons of energy traveling across all those frozen Finnish lakes. Imagine gliding quietly over the ice, the cold air on your face and the landscape stretching for miles. These early inventors turned animal bones and a simple stick into a clever way to survive, travel, and maybe even have a little fun during those long, dark winters. So next time you see a frozen lake, remember, the first ice skaters were seriously resourceful fins, with bone skates and a whole lot of grit.